Hi, I'm Robert Riggs, and this is Brad Vesakin here for a clarity clip. Okay, would you go to a social cocktail hour and shove your business card under the nose or into the hand of a perfect stranger? No. No. And why would why wouldn't you? Why don't you do that? Uh, it's just not the right spot, and uh, it's kind of it'd be kind of awkward. Yeah, and intrusive. Like, what's that all about? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, but every day we see people do this in social media, like sell, 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 or just rude. Yeah, they're just putting out posts. Um, you know, one of the things that we talk about is is it's social media. Be social. It's not just about information and events and, you know, some of our clients research or data or whatever. It's being social. It's, mm -hmm. hey, I'm Brad. What's your name? And, and being, you know, it's creating conversations. Yep. Okay, so Brad, what's the ROI on that? Well, that, that's the other piece that people get their feathers ruffled about is, well, I'm not getting any business off of this, and I'm spending time, or you guys want me to come in here and, and, and show me how to do all this stuff. And the ROI is is the actual interaction and conversation one-on-one yes. -on -one that you can have with your audience. In no other place can you do that. You can't do it on a website blog. You're just putting out information. I'm out of television. Sure can't do it in TV. Can't do it in TV. Can't do it in a print no. ad. Can't do it on a display no. ad or or any of that kind of stuff. But you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation in a message or on a Twitter feed or on a Facebook post or in some fashion, you know, Pinterest, Instagram. You can create these conversations and communities and that's being social. And so what, what's the value of that? That you've got someone you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with, Absolutely. a prospect that you can start bringing through the sales funnel. And, you know, you can't really put a number on that, and, and interestingly, people don't put those numbers on TV spots. It's about awareness. No, awareness. And, and it's the same. It's it's no different than what's the value of if I come to you and say, hey, Robert, um, what, what, what doctor do you go see? Well, I go see Dr. Smith yeah. down the road. There's no value on that either. But because you've given good quality service at Dr. Smith's clinic, you feel like, hey, I should send Brad there because it's good the same thing can happen in social. You can build that reputation up by having those conversations, by being relevant. Oh, I hate that word being relevant yeah. because what's relevant to Robert isn't relevant to me. But by being social and keying in on what really works with your audience yeah. and the audience speak, and you're doing the same thing. And you're doing it with, with uh, out there in space. And about uh, ROI, back on that, if you have a website in this day and age with all the changes with the search engine algorithms, you're referring traffic. The stuff that's bringing you traffic is social. Yes, yeah. we hope it is, Yeah. right? If you're doing it the right way, that's the whole piece that you're looking for. So when you're out there looking at social media, don't forget the first word, be social. That's a clarity clip, thanks. Thanks guys.